Hey everyone, so it is about that time. We have, what, three more days and then it's autumn. Oh, I've been dreading this. I've been dreading the cold, but here it comes. So I decided I should get working on my fall related decor pieces that I would like to put outside of my house. And so I am making some Halloween box style lanterns. They are so cute and I'm very excited. So I'm making them out of fence pickets, the cedar fence pickets. These are some scraps that I had left behind from when we built our um, planter boxes with the, with the arbor pergola style. Um, we had these pieces left over, so I cut them down to 11 and a half inches. Two of them I ended up changing the size later on, but um, they turned out really cute and I like them. So I have a little ghost one, a little jack-o-lantern, and then this one right here is a bat. And it's so cute, and yes, it is sideways, but bats fly in all different directions, so no worries. So after they were cut out on the long mill, I went ahead and used my Dremel tool to remove the tabs that were left behind and sanded them nice and smooth, or at least as smooth as, you know, was acceptable. They are just Halloween decorations. They're not going to be like an all year round kind of thing. I didn't even seal them, to be honest with you. Um, it should be fine. It's just for... Halloween. I am not really into super creepy stuff, so hence why my little jack-o'-lantern has a friendly face, and the ghosts are not very creepy either, and bats, I mean, as long as you don't end up in the middle of one of their little swarms or whatever they're called where they're all flying together, I think you would not really find them super creepy. I don't. I actually think bats are kind of cute. Um, however, I would not want to hold one or anything. Um, and then I was just trying to determine the size, um, of the box, like the base of the box and the, and the top of the box. And so I was just doing some measurements before I cut them on the miter saw. And I needed to take the sides down. I believe that I took them to three inches. They might be four, but I'm pretty sure that they were they were either three or three and a half, something something like that. Um, and so all of the side pieces were cut down or ripped down, whatever you want to call it, and that way they would fit together nicely on the base and the top. And then I just glued them and used the brad nails to hold them together until the glue dries. And the base of them I did not glue on. And you will see that here pretty soon. But I go through and I glue the sides and brad nail them all in. And then I glue the top on and just clamped it down so it would just hold it till it dried. I didn't use any brad nails for the top.
So all of my brad nails were too long and so I had a couple break out the side which was a huge bummer but it just gave it more character really in the end. I did not leave those brad nails hanging out on the side. I actually used a pair of pliers and pulled them out. So I actually needed shorter ones and I have some half inch ones, half inch brad nails, but they were too short. <laughs> but I ended up using them anyways and it did hold together till the glue dried, but I did have to add some clamps. I don't even think I um, show that in the video where I'm holding the, it was like on the last box. So, um, but anyways, you can see they just kind of popped right out the side and I was like, no, but that's what happens. I need, I need every size of those brad nails for my brad nailer. It would be, it would be smart to have the correct side size. Sorry. Um, but it worked out and it, everything's fine. I just pulled them out. It just added a little bit of character to the side of the box. No big deal. So here I am adding, it's like a little hook closure, I'm not sure. I'll have it listed in the description below. Really cheap from Lowe's. Um, if I were to do it differently, I think I would have just done the whole back panel as the opening instead of the bottom because I feel like it would have stayed shut a little bit better. You can kind of see, um, you can kind of see a gap at the bottom, but it's okay. I'm not selling these. These are not for, you know, the public so much as, except for when they drive past my house, but these are specifically just for decorations for my house. So it's not a big deal, but if you were wanting to make something like this and to sell it, I would, I would definitely put the hinges and the hook closure on probably the back panel of the box instead of where I put it. I didn't want it on the top because it was hanging. I, I 
put them on my garden structure that I built. Um, but I didn't want it to like pull open, you know, have that big old gap. Well, it still has a gap at the bottom anyway, so <laughs> it's fine though. It all worked out. Um, I got the lights for these from Hobby Lobby and they are battery operated because I knew with these boxes, solar lights were not going to work. So I won't be turning them on very often because I want them to be on for Halloween. And so that might just be the night that I have them going, uh, but they are really cute. And then I just put a little eye hook at the top and it's just one of those little tiny ones. You can get those from Lowe's for really cheap as well. And I think it's so cute. It's so cute. I don't like creepy. Cute is good though. Cute is acceptable. <laughs> So these little screws for these hinges were really annoying. I really wish I would have had <laughs> a second pair of hands because it was oh so frustrating because they kept falling out of my fingers and I had to use this, the tiniest little screwdriver. Anyways, just know the screws are really frustrating with these hinges. And I know there's probably a better way to put hinges on, but this is what I chose to do, so. And look at them all done. How cute. They're cute. Cute is acceptable, I promise. I mean, look at all the adorable kids dressed up as cute little things. Ghosts and whatever. They can't be scary. I guess some kids wear scary, but I like the little cute adorable things. So I hope you like this video. We have a, a hubby video coming up really soon. And I hope you enjoy that one. Um, it's something that my husband and I both enjoy very much that some people probably roll their eyes at when they're driving through town, but it's okay. It's okay if you don't like it. But please leave a comment down below. Let me know how you like my little lanterns. They're different, but yet still the same. And, you know, as all the other ones you've seen, right? I really like the box lantern style. I think it's really cute. And they light up so nicely with these little lights from Hobby Lobby. Um, anyways, thank you so much, and I want to say this probably cost, because I used scraps, it was very likely that it was under $15 for, for all of this. I could be wrong, but they turned out cute, cheap, even if you had to buy the pickets, still cheap. So thank you, and I will see you next time. <laughs>